ready to do is we get ready to do dynamic warm up. And basically, dynamic warm up is like preparing your body for any kind of explosion drills that you do, any kind of explosive movement. It's just the same thing uh, as if you have a car and it's cold outside, you don't just get in your car, start up and drive. You know, you got to let the car warm up and therefore then you can start driving. The same way with your body, dynamic drills is to warm up your body to prepare for any kind of explosive movements that you're going to be doing in your exercise. All right, the first drill we're going to do is what we call Run a half speed up to the cone, and you're bringing your heel up, extending out, coming backwards. And mainly what this will do, this is to help loosen up your hamstring and help loosen up your quads. All right, set, go. They're going half speed up, coming back, they're bringing their heel up to low part of the glutes, extending out, working them hamstring. All right, let's do it again. Set, go. The next drill what we're going to do is what we call one, two, three, scoop. Basically what they're going to be doing is short, quick, choppy steps, dropping down on one knee as if you were bowling, alternating each time that you go down, working your hip flexors as well as your glutes. All right, set, go. So now you see them doing this drill. They're staying tall, keeping their hips tall, taking their knee all the way down, focusing on, loosening up the hamstrings, the hip flexors, as well as the quadricep muscles. Now we're gonna do the same exact drill, coming back backwards, using the same technique, working the same muscles, working on the balance, as well as loosening up the hip flexor. whichever one you want to call it and basically this drill is to work on your lateral quickness it's a work on your agility and it's a work on your footwork so whether you play football or basketball you know footwork is very important all right the first drill what we're going to do is what we call over and back and again this is focused on your lateral quickness and lateral movement all right set go See the guys are standing on the ball or the feet, exploding off the board and back onto the board. Five, four, three, two, go. Second drill we're doing is what we call fast feet drill. And this is to work on your, 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 your quickness, is to work on your explosion as well as work on your footwork. I right, set, go. And also these drills is to help on your motor skill muscles and your fast twitch muscles. Five, four, three, two, go. And they explode out 10 yards. Good is to work with many hurdles. And we use these mini hurdles to work on stride frequency as well as stride length. And also we're going to use the mini hurdles to work on footwork, change of direction, lateral quickness, and lateral movement. And we got these hurdles extended out six feet apart. And the athletes are going to run over these hurdles, focusing on getting their knees up, extending their legs out, and coming on the ball of their feet so they can explode off to the next step. This is to help prepare and train the athletes are running high with bringing their knees up, extending out, but most of all staying on the ball of their feet because that's where your most power at that you can gain while you're running. Set, go. So as he's staying tall, extending his legs out, bringing his knees up. Work, working on stride limb, helping to extend out, cover more ground with less time, spending more time in the air, then on the surface. And what we're focusing on now is working on high knees, making sure that you bring your knees up parallel to your hip flexors as well as parallel to your waist, teaching them how to run properly and bringing their knees up, and most of all, staying on the ball of their feet because that's where most of your power is at, in the ball of your feet, not in your heels. Set, go. See how he's driving his elbow back, getting the knees up, and he's staying tall. He's not leaning back. Nor is he leaning forward past his waist. Knees up, stepping over, good. The next drill we're gonna do is, this is a good drill for footwork, 
as well as eye and footwork coordination. This, this is a good drill for any skill position to work on footwork, work on lateral movement, as well, as well as to work on your foot and eye coordination. And as you look at this drill, you can see why I said foot and eye coordination. All right, set. Also in this drill, what he's going to do is, whatever hurdle that's on either the left or right side of you, that's the foot or leg that you're going to start off going over the hurdle that is in front of you. All right, set, go. See so on the left and right. And it's left foot lead and right foot lead. Good. Left foot lead, right foot lead. All right, the next segment of this DVD is we're going to be working the agility slash speed ladder. Uh, this, this is good for working on your forward movement as well as your change of direction as well as your footwork. The first drill we're going to do is, is a forward running drill. You're going to have tapping two feet in each box. And just to add a little bit more aggression to this drill, we have the guys wearing ankle resistance band. And this is to put more tension on your hip flexors, more tension on your quad, and a little bit more tension on your hip flexors. I mean, the hamstrings. All right, set, go. To shorten the pump, and the elbows back. Good. Good. All right, the next drill we're going to perform is what we call icky shuffles, where we're going to bring two feet, going to come into the box. The one that is farthest to this, the ladder is going to be extending out while the last one in is going to be coming up. And just to add a little more aggression to this drill, we have the guys on here with these leg resistors, which is going to put a lot of resistance on his ankles, knee, hips, and as well as his quad. As you see, he's standing on the ball of his feet, extending out, putting pressure on the thighs, Good, good. Taking it all the way through. Stand on the ball, your feet exploding. Good. Good. We're going to have uh, some little agility drills. Uh, one of the guys we have is, is, is a guy who I've been training since 10th grade, and now he's going to be hopefully in 2009 starting outside linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. Along with him is a good friend of his. He played middle, line, middle linebacker from Clark Atlanta. And they're just going to demonstrate a couple of drills uh, as far as uh, you know lateral movement, explosion, and quickness. Go! All right, he's going to ladder work, fire up, catching that back, come right out the backfield, out on the side. Good, good. This is a good drill for linebackers when they're trying to get the running back coming out on the flat on the pass or either going on a sweep. All right, set, go. Working them hips and them quick feet, explode up to the line. Good. Next drill is what we call a lateral quickness drill. drill. Working on your hips, working on your feet and your footwork, going over the hurdle. Then once we get to the end of the hurdle, you explode and back going the opposite direction. And this is a good exercise and good drill for any skill position player that is working on change of directions. All right, set, go. Five, four, three, two, go. Oh. Good, good, good. All right, five. More Ravens, Philadelphia's own, and linebacker. And it started out at George Washington, you know, as simple as Coach Cohen grabbing me from walking around in, in the school and, and getting the opportunity to play the game. So I started at the, at the age, I was about a freshman, you know, and from there it just elevated to college, to playing for Syracuse University, and then getting the chance to get on with the Baltimore Ravens. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You know, and that's, that's just what I approach the game with. You know, I approached it hard in the weight room, in the weight room off the field as far as training. And I was fortunate enough around my, my freshman year to link up with Tone Fulton, you know, a speed coach, a very wonderful man, which you should know right now if you're paying attention to this. You know, he gave me, he gave me the speed and all of the tools that I needed and the explosion in the game just to elevate my stock, as you said, and to get me to where I'm at right now, you know. So from 10th grade until 10th grade, what's that, about 15, 14 to 24 years? old me and him still going hard you know so it's, it's something that's necessary if you want to elevate yourself in this game you got to work hard on it